Yes, it's true. The new SR-72. <laughs> Lockheed Martin themselves are working on the next supersonic spy plane. You thought your SR-71 was fast going Mach 3. We'll just add three more Machs to that. That's right. They plan to run this thing six times the speed of sound. That's over 4,500 miles an hour. In kilometers, that's... Uh, 7,300. 7,300 kilometers an hour. And get this, they plan to build this thing with existing technology. Technology. <laughs> the old SR-71 spied on Russians from the 1960s all the way up to 1998. It flew off of turbine jets that got it moving and then some kind of scramjets turned on to go even faster. Same basic idea here with this new SR-72. Just a little better and faster I would guess. Who cares? Who cares? Now the wiki tells me a scramjet is a weird kind of thing. It has no moving parts and works just by exploding the gases that are already moving quickly through the thing. So you already gotta be moving twice the speed of sound before you can even turn it on. The good news is it does have no moving part. It's just basically a funnel with fuel injectors. I guess. I guess. So you don't have to worry about breaking it, but you do have to worry about burning up at those speeds. Six times the speed of sound, that's like astronaut fast. The front of the plane will get hotter than a blast furnace that is used for blasting metal. So they have to make much of the plane out of high-tech heat-resistant materials. Much like those magic oven gloves you see on TV. Yeah. Those are great, aren't they? I know, right? Now what do we need a spy plane for anyway? Don't satellites do just fine of a job? Google Earth. Yeah, they do, kinda. The problem is they're predictable and they only come by once a day. So your enemy knows the patterns of the satellites and simply hides their stuff as the satellites come by. That's true, I have heard that. Now when you have a super duper spy plane that can go anywhere in the world in less than an hour, you can do surprise visits whenever you want. And it flies so high and so fast, no radar or weapon systems will be able to track you. Oh, and by the way, by the way. unlike the SR-71, the SR-72 is probably gonna be packing some heat. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. So go ahead and have a better stealth fighter than us. We'll just bomb that sucker once you roll it out on the tarmac. SR-72 for you, woohoo! Now some say, we really don't need the SR-72 because we all know that the Aurora has been around for a long time. What the? Yeah, you can't trick us. We know the truth. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really into conspiracies. What? How are you not into conspiracies? You're an alien. No, I'm not. I'm just your voice on fast speed. What? What? The new Lockheed Martian SR-72. Is it going to give America back the advantage over all those foreign stealth fighter planes? Or is the government just going to use this to spy on its own people like it always does? Yeah, probably that. The government will decide. This video brought to you by Oven Gloves, reminding you to drink and cook responsibly. I hate oven mitts, and I've said that. I am not an oven mitt girl. I would rather pull things from the oven with a kitchen towel or just a hot pad. I hate oven mitts. Welding gloves, we have some of those. Um, but you can see these are nice and flexible. So I'm going to go over to the stove right now because I have to take a turkey out of the oven. And we're going to see what these do.